As we're doing today, we're going to talk about all of our voluminous styling products, how to use them properly, some of the ingredients inside of them. And I'm so glad you've been using Joyco for a lot of years. I love them. They're so great. The company's great. The color's great. The, the styling products are amazing. Uh, and they give you lots of volume. So this morning I came in here a little early. I'm going to post a video of me styling my hair after I get off this live. I did not want to blow your ears out for an hour straight of just blow dry sound. So I blew dry off camera. I'll finish it and then I'll post it so you can see how I blow dry my own hair using our Joyco stylers. But today I'm going to show you how I do a thermal set on Miss Girly here. And of course we got a little rainbow vibes for a pride month so cute uh, and then i'm going to show you how i blow dry on my other doll head from my actual last joyco live so i did a joyco live like two months ago we showed you how to do a little balayage and uh fun colors so check that out on joyco's instagram it's out there right now uh, in the meantime i have a couple of tools that i would love for you to grab if you want to do it alongside me or maybe later on you can do this but we're definitely going to need a tail comb and a rat tail or one of these two if you have it. This one's from Olivia Garden. It travels very nicely. It folds. Also love Olivia Garden. We're going to be using tons of Olivia Garden stuff today. Different blow dryers, different round brushes, regular brushes. Uh, so if you have any Olivia Garden questions, I can somewhat answer those. I do work with them, but I am not educated with them. Uh, but yes, I love all of their stuff. So we're going to need some combs with rat tails. Of course, some clips. You know. And uh, these are my favorite clips from Olivia Garden. So these are uh, really great sectioning clips because we're going to work smarter, not harder today. And of course, we need some pin curl clips or if you have actual, I don't know, the difference, I guess these are roller clips and then a pin curl clip. These both will work. A couple of different sizes of Velcro rollers. These things stick to everything. I had them on my train. It stuck to the towel, so I have to keep them over here. Uh, and of course, our blow dryers. Today I'm going to be using uh, the original Olivia Garden blow dryer. Um, I do also have our brand new one here that I will not be using today. It is a little bit quieter, but it has a higher pitch, and I think it might pick up a little different on the live than this one with. So we're also going to be using a Marcel curling iron. Yes, Marcel. I love a good Marcel curling iron. You probably can kind of see, maybe not behind me, is that I collect vintage hair styling tools and I have a bunch of Marcel curling irons. It's being blocked by that. Um, but yes, we're gonna use a Marcel curling iron today. Of course, you can use whatever your heart desires, but I'm gonna show you a thermal set. We're gonna kind of take it back to Cosmo School and we're gonna do a little on base, off base, half on, half, what is the other one? Half off base, you know, all of those things. And then show you how to blow dry our hair. But in the meantime, let's talk about what I used in my hair this morning. I use our Joyful Shampoo and Conditioner line. This is, oh, two hands, Katie, two hands. So this is our Joyful Conditioner and Shampoo. They also have a styler, uh, which I did not use today, but this has rice proteins in it, which helps swell up the cuticle and uh, giving you 24 hours of volume and shine. It also has lotus, extra, uh, lotus flower in it and bamboo extract that helps give you moisture and shine, all that fun stuff. And these packages are so pretty, but they are a little hard sometimes to see online with that ring light. So this is Joy Foam. It smells super great, but when it comes out, it is clear. It's like more of like a jelly-like consistency and it suds up really great. So I would definitely recommend trying this out. Hopefully I do have a towel, I'm good, I have a towel. So I also prepped my wet doll head with the shampoo and conditioner. Um, and we're gonna comb her out. I'm gonna show you how I use some of my favorite styling products and how to cocktail them together. Cause a lot of people don't know, but you can mix and match all of our Joyco stylers. You wanna grab some from our colorful line, maybe some from our youthful line and mix them all together. The smells are gonna be great and they're not gonna overpower the hair. Most of our styling products also have our smart release technology, which is next to none. It's a one of a kind, different kind of liposome system that delivers three different types of products. We have keratin, arginine, and rosehip oil. And it's, a, this is a hard word for me to say, a communicative, I think that's the word. The longer you use it, the longer it stays in your hair. <laughs> okay, and, uh, about three days or three shampoos work. And on every bottle that has it, you will see this, ah, there we go, smart release technology. It's kind of hard to see on that little smart release technology. So that's gonna be most of our styling products, especially our Defy Damage. That's where it came from and we love it so much. We copy and pasted it to almost every single one of our products. Another little fun thing about all products, on the back here, of course, you got your ingredient list, your directions, all the things. Maybe, maybe I won't use a clear one, you can't see it very well, but let's see if you can just see it on the black. Yeah, maybe. So you'll see all of these different labels down here. So recyclable joyco is a um like an economic 
<laughs> what am I trying to say? Very planet friendly. What's that word, Brie? Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. That's the word I'm looking for. Goodness. Eco-friendly. So we have recyclable label as here. Uh, we also have um, this little tiny thing, if you can see it, maybe not the glare. It will tell you the shelf life. It's a little jar and it tells you this has 30 months. So once you open this, this will be good for 30 months. We have all of our um, expiration dates on there as well. Um, and then in the meantime, okay, let's get started. We're going to do our little thermal set today. First thing has one question, Katie. Oh, what's my one question? Um, someone asked what the difference is between the Dream Blowout and the new Youth Lock. Oh, so. there is a slight difference. So Youth Lock, um, we have our, let me find it. Do I have it here? Um, this has collagen in it. So it also has our smart release technology, but it has collagen. So all of our Youth Lock line are hair color, shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in products. So you're just going to get a little extra collagen that... As we know, hair, as it ages, we are losing collagen in our skin. Um, that's why we like to take biotin. We love adding collagen into our coffee and into our hair products. So this will give you a little bit, almost the same exact styling properties. You'll get the same kind of heat protection, smart release pr technology, uh, but this just has a little bit of extra bonus. And the smell is slightly different. So it kind of depends on what you're smelling. I would say this is a little bit more on the floral side and Dream Blowout to me smells a little bit more musky or like on the masculine side, but the Dream Blowout itself is going to get you 450 uh, degrees protection. Um, again, also having the smart release technology in there, uh, but it's going to give you 450 degree tech protection. It's going to cut your blow dry time in half. It's going to cut that frizz. It's going to add tons of shine. And all these products are going to last for about 24 hours, I'd say. Uh, humidity blocking as well, which is super important on a weird rainy day like this in California. So for my thermal protection, obviously it's a little different. We also have our Heat Hero. We have our styling products like this. So on the front of most of our styling, let me get this squarely out of the way. On our aerosol styling products, these do not have smart release technology, but they do tell you what kind of hold it is. You can see on the bottle right here, there's different labels. This is gonna be a level three hold. This will be a level two hold. These are a finisher. This is before you start, blow dry, or start um, heat styling. This is called Heat Hero. This is gonna give you 450 degree protection, but also is a heat, activated split end mender. So you can spray it on the hair and as you're curling, you're flat ironing, any of those fun things, um, it's going to give you that sealed protection and again, 40, 24 hours worth of protection as well. Uh, most of these have UVA, UVB protection and um, a little bit of humidity blocking as well. I do, we do have a product called Humidity Blocker, which is one of my favorite products for styling when it comes to weddings. Brie and I do tons of weddings together, lots and lots of styling, and uh, a lot of times like beach styling and having um, a humidity blocker is one of the easiest products to use. Make sure that that hair does not get frizzy as the day goes on. So during our thermal set, you can maybe take it back to uh, Cosmo school and we're gonna prep the hair a little bit. I'm gonna section it because I'm a work smarter, not harder kind of girly. This is the same kind of sectioning we're gonna do for the blow dry part as well. A nice little mohawk section off the top. And then this is where, maybe not with the short hair, but um, where our double clips would definitely come in handy. So I'm going to section out another, probably about an inch. We're going to use my three-fourths of an inch curling iron to give you this big blowout look, but on shorter hair. Because sometimes when we get a short haircut, we may not know how to curl it or style it at home. And sometimes blow drying with a round brush and then setting with Velcro rollers is not sustainable. It might hurt your arms. It was hurting my arms this morning. So um, I would say probably uh, halfway through, I'm going, why did, I, why did I blow dry my hair like this? Most of the time I air dry and then I heat style just like this. So I'm gonna take another probably inch and a half section and put that out of the way. This is when you're gonna need your pin curl clips, which is again, a little different than your other kind of clips. So for this underneath part, this girl has got a bob, you can tell. Then you can see it a little bit better. It's going to be a little too high for my... I want to be curly hair this high, but I think this is going to be easier for me. So you can see that I already blew or dry. I used Joyful to prep with. I shampooed and conditioner yesterday. Then I used our hair... I knew that was going to happen at one point. Oh, sorry guys. Um, our hair shake. So this is a liquid to powder finish. You're going to get four like levels of hold. You can spray it in wet or dry. I say prefer wet. Um, and I sprayed it at her base. So after our shampoo conditioner, I uh, detangled her with our luster lock, which I will show you how I use that in our wet doll head. Uh, and then you spray this at the roots. Can you spray it at the end? Yes, but it's gonna give you lots of grip, uh, a little bit more protection, and it helps kind of swell the cuticle a little bit. So it gives you a little bit more 
Yeah, when we want that nice, strong, held-in blow dry. This is perfect for actual blow dries, but also when you're doing wedding styling. So if you want to lock in that teasing, uh, you can spray it before or after the teasing and really back comb in there. You're going to get that extended um, like cushiony pillow. So I spray this at the roots, and then I use my smaller round brush from Olivia Garden. I love our ceramic round brushes. Of course, there's a thousand different colors and a thousand different shapes and sizes, um, but Olivia Garden is like top notch. One of the best brushes on the market. Uh, besides it's been around for over 50 years and it being a uh, family owned company, they also have some little fun things like this little pick right here. People online were going crazy on TikTok maybe like a year ago about learning that this comes out. If you didn't know, this comes out. Uh, and you can use it as a hair pick. You can use it to help pick the hair out of the, the brush. Um, but I use a round brush, ceramic round brush in a smaller size to get this nice beveled look. And then I'm going to go in with our Heat Hero, which again, 450 degree protection. I always shake it. Most of our products need to be shake, shooken, shaken before you spray it in the hair. This is almost gone. I probably go through like 10 of these in a year, but other products like our hair shake, you'll go through maybe one of these in a year. Maybe if you have short hair, like one of my clients, she wears a cute little like spoopy short haircut. She uses this every single day. You might go through it a little faster. So. Shake it up, spray it down, and I always like to comb products through. So wet styling, heat styling, doesn't matter. I also am using our Olivia Garden brushes, our combs, that it, um, gets 400 degree or 450 degree protection with the comb. So I'm gonna turn on my Marcel curling iron. This is again, three fourths of an inch. I don't know, I just fell in love with Marcel's years ago, so much for I have it tattooed on my arm. Um, it's just easy, it's like an extension of my hand. And I know some people don't like to use it, but I encourage people that continue using it. So it's unlocked. Now I'm letting it heat up because I forgot to turn it on. Oops. But we'll let that turn on for a second. And if you have any questions about our products, please answer them in the chat. So are there any questions or anything yet? Not yet. Not yet. So please go ahead and ask me any questions. I love all of Draco Stylers. If you catch me on either my Instagram, which is Katie Ong with two E's or TikTok, Katie Ong with one E. I don't know why I did that. Uh, you can find uh, collection videos of all my different styling products on myself on doll heads, on my friends, on my clients, and on TikTok in particular, I have a bunch of videos saved to a collection called My Favorite Products. You will see tons of different stylers, wet styling, hot styling, whatever you wanna do, curly styles, all that fun stuff over on TikTok. And if you don't follow Droico on TikTok, you should do that as well. Um, so let's see if our curling iron is heated up enough. People think it's crazy that we touch that. I don't feel heat anymore, right? Most of us don't feel heat anymore. So let me shoot this a little too high. Well, for this one section, I'm gonna curl everything down. So you don't wanna get that 1960s kind of look when it comes to um, a short haircut. So I'm gonna take probably about an inch by inch section. I'm gonna hold it probably 45 degrees down. Now I'm going to just kind of curl up the ends a little bit. I don't want to leave it on there for too long because I don't want to put the structure in too, too much. But I just want to add a little bit of bevel. If you can see the difference between the two right there, right? A little bit more beveled on that ends. For the most part, when the girls have shorter bobs, yeah, it's a little harder to do a, um, I guess like a beachy wave. And beachy waves are kind of been flowing out, right? People really love that big blowout, which is great for us stylists because we don't got to do too much. Beachy Waves takes at least another 30 minutes to do. So um, again, we heat prep this with Heat Hero. That's 450 degrees protection. And I'm just turning these ends in a little bit. And if you like my little pride rainbow, give me some love, you know? These are all, of course, Joyco color intensities. The blue people ask about the most. I don't remember what the blue was. I have mixed a bunch of blues together, and this is what we got. So here's our first setting. Here's our next one, dropping down. I did this rainbow, all with just blue, yellow, and red, which is very fun. So this one I'm gonna hold out about 45 degrees off of the hair, but I am gonna prep with our Heat Hero. Spray it all in there. Comb it through. 450 degree protection. Sealing those split ends down. And I'm gonna hold this now straight up from the head. Because remember, if we want it on base, it's gonna give us the most volume. Slight half off base, you're gonna get less volume. And of course, over directed, you're not gonna get as much volume either. And I'm going to just slide my iron out. I'm trying to not block you with my hands. You can pin curl this one, but this one might be a little bit too short to still pin curl, but I'm gonna leave them set like this. 
the part the thought is to leave them set and then let them cool down all the way and then we will comb them out so someone had a color question yeah. they asked how would you get the blue out of the hair uh, so we have our color uh, eraser from Draco color intensity uh, you can mix it with up to 20 volume 10 5 or water and it will help remove the blue but blue is definitely a strong one it doesn't like to come out very easily so trying to shampoo as much as you can but when I do color changes I try to shift colors so if I'm wanting to get out of blue I let it wash out as much as I possibly can uh, and then I transition into purple by using red. And then from purple, if I want to go to pink, it'll be a lot easier to go from purple to pink. So most of my clients know if they want to change colors, we try to shift them out instead. Can you see this? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to stay on this other side because it's a little easier. So again, on base, I'm just opening and closing my iron a little bit. And then I'm going to let it sit up like that. This front piece, I think I will pin. As you know, a curl needs a one and a half times around to get that real set in curl. But we're using a bigger iron on smaller hair because I don't want it to be a curly haired look. I want it to be a blow dried look. So this way we can do it without having to use a blow dryer. A work smarter, not harder kind of a thing. Let me take this section down. Someone said the color eraser has been discontinued in the Has UK. it been discontinued and I didn't know that? In the UK. Oh, in the UK. Oh, no. See, that's the hard part. I was like, I would be so sad if they continue here in America. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, so to remove it, I'd say you can use our cream lightener um, from Vero or from Blonde Life. But I definitely suggest Vero because it has a little bit more uh, softness to it. And I would apply that with five volume in your hair to remove some of that blue. But definitely spray in our Defy Damage Pro Series 1 in there before you use any kind of color like that. So here's our two little sets. We're looking granny and we're looking good. So but I do love a good blow dry, that's for sure. This is a bigger section, so I think I'm going to split it in half. And I'm going to drop her down a little bit because she's getting too tall for me. And I'm a tall girl, so the goal is to not have shoulder pain when I'm 40, right? That's why I'm most of the time in running shoes. But look how fun that rainbow looks on the camera. Wow. All right, we're going to go to Hero again. Spraying that. Now we're going to go slightly above base. We're going to give you a lot of volume in here. But I'm going to show you how I would use this in dry hair. So here's our hair shake again. This is a wet liquid to powder finish. You want to shake it up. These three products, all of our shakes, Beach Shake, Body Shake, they have these titanium, or uh, is it titanium? Yeah, titanium balls inside, so they won't rest. And you can hear, you want to be able to hear that ball inside, because you know the product is getting mixed together properly. So, I'm going to shake it up. And then, yes, this is definitely one of my favorite products to use right at that base. Let me see if we can get it in a little, a little closer and show you that it's nice and wet. But it dries almost instantly. It's going to give you that grip, that protection um, that we're looking for. All right. Um, Katie, you want to yep. re go over for new people joining what Absolutely. exactly you're doing and what products you've used? Absolutely. So today I am heat styling and blow drying. We're using our favorite Droyco stylers. Right now I am heat setting what I would be doing with the blow dryer. So if I don't have the time to blow dry, or maybe the arm strength, which I don't have the arm strength anymore to blow dry, this is gonna be in replace of that. And then I also will be blow drying on a regular doll head, but I didn't wanna blow your ears out. So I did prep our hair when I first washed her yesterday with Joyful Shampoo and Conditioner, which helps give volume. It has rice protein that kind of swells up the cuticle a little bit, makes it fuller for up to 24 hours. Uh, and then we sprayed our Heat Hero in there as well. And then I just sprayed our hair shake to give that nice volume. And uh, in my own hair, I will, I made a video this morning. Let's see if I can do this backwards. I'm not really do this backwards. Um, this morning I made a video of me blow drying and setting my own hair with Velcro rollers. I will be posting that a little bit later today after I'm done with this live. So you can kind of see how I did that. So right now this is completely on base. Again, throwing it back to cosmetology school, right? On base, off base. Here's my curl. And I'm gonna pin it with my pin curl. I love using curls like this when I'm doing big blow dries, especially if I don't have the time to let them curl, cool down in my hand. Because if you know, hair when it's warm like this is not setted. 
once it cools down, it will actually set in its right um, like pattern, I guess you could say. Someone said they double dare you to do it backwards. Double dare you to do it backwards. Okay, let's try it. Let's make a full. That's one of the reasons why I didn't want to blow dry it on my on camera on myself too, because you know I was gonna look like a goober trying to get my hands in the right position and not block the camera. So, uh, and I didn't want you guys to see my armpits. You know, that's a for me thing. That's not a for you thing. So, let's see if we can pin it backwards. Who challenged me that? Was that one of my friends? Let's see. Let's see. Silas Ricardo. Oh, little butthead. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Joyco family. If you're on and watching, I miss y'all. Okay, backwards. Look at me go. I challenge you, Ricardo, <laughs> to uh, do a crow backwards. Okay, look at me. Hair show life, right? Makes you be able to do things in different positions that you're not used to. I'm going to set that one real quick. Yes, if you're just joining us, we're doing a little styling, talking about some of my Joyco, my favorite Joyco stylers. If you don't already follow Joyco or uh, me on Instagram or TikTok, there's tons of videos of me shampooing, conditioning, all the fun styles on my hair. Um, and I just did a live with Joyco last month doing a really pretty, fun pink hair color balayage. All right, it's gonna be a little bit of a bigger side section. Again, prepping with our heat hero. Combing it through. You guys style your, your, your clients for free? Do you have to you charge people? What do you normally like to do in the salon? Will you guys set your hair like this? I don't often set it like this in the salon every day, but unless they do want to have that nice big blow dry and they're going out tonight, then I would absolutely set it. But at weddings, me and Brie don't often set hair. Most of the time they're looking for curls that last all day that aren't a blow dry looking curl. Having long nails also helps a tremendous amount because I don't have to really touch the hair itself. I use my nails to take the hair off of the curling iron. So please don't burn yourself. We do not need that. Don't say Katie showed me how to curl hair and then I burn my finger, okay? So this is now going to be over directed slightly. So we're gonna get tons and tons of volume. I'm gonna hold the hair straight up from the head. Again, I'm using a three-fourths curling iron, Barcel. This is just from Hot Tools. These curling irons last forever. So straight up from the hair, making sure I'm smoothing out all of those ends. Then it sit for just a second and then taking it off. You don't wanna hold your curling iron there for too long. Did you know that heat can take off hair color? So, Using our protectants like Heat Hero or even Luster Lock will help you keep, Luster Lock will help you keep 82% of your hair color for I think up to eight weeks. So using that consistently will use or make your hair color last a little longer. And of course, yeah, not over styling right after you get out of the salon. It's not a great idea. But obviously using great products like Joyco has the offer, it will be make your hair color last even longer. Some of our color intensities, like on the magenta on the other doll head I'll be doing, um, can last up to 30 shampoos, which is definitely a good amount of time. I think one of the fun parts about a style live too is that you'll get to see the after product instead of having to come back four hours from now and see what I did. All right, that's a little, I think that's a little too big of a section, maybe not. So this one's gonna be straight out from the head as well. And I'm going to be using, almost done, all this mohawk section, everything's going to be going um, away uh, towards the back of the head. Look at that wrist action. Um, and if you have to re redo the curl, I would suggest it. Don't just pretend, because you don't want one side to be cuter than the other side. Look at that wrist action. All right, that's on base. Any other questions about your favorite stylers or what kind of shampoo and conditioner you should use for certain hair types? I love using that. In my shampoo, or sorry, in my shower, I use only Defy Damage and Colorful. Colorful is one of our favorite new shampoo and conditioners. It's got pomegranate extract in it. It's gonna help make your color last a little longer. So one last spray of our Heat Hero. Let's it come through. And then I'm gonna do probably three curls, all over-directed. 
like that, over directed, all going back. And we're gonna set this girly to the side and we're gonna start combing out our wet set doll head. Someone asked, would can you use Velcro rollers instead of the pin curls uh, for this type of styling or will that, is this just, or just with your bloats and blow dry styling? So I would absolutely use the uh, Velcro rollers for longer hair when it comes to a heat style like this. Like in my hair, like I, I blow dry this morning, but most of the time I will heat style with a curling iron and then set with those Velcro um, rollers. But for shorter hair, I wanted to show this kind of more uh, voluminous technique, but having a roller put in there, even on the smaller size, it might not be as easy to, well, I guess you could say, it was set there. I only have one set, so we were trying to make do. <laughs> but you could absolutely do that, uh, and then you don't have to worry about these little pin curls, uh, clips being everywhere, because man, if you know, you know that these are everywhere in your kit. They're in your kit, there's bobby pins in my car, there's uh, all of this styling stuff is everywhere. So we are going to grab two more big sections, everything slightly over directed. Again, over direction is not going to give you as much volume, but we don't want too, too much volume right in this bang area. No, oh, it's over here. I am right handed, so most of the time I have my stuff on my right side, but my salon is a booby trap right now, so I told Brie when she walked in here this morning. This is Bree's first time being in my salon and she is a uh, Seen it looking like a freaking mess, so <laughs> I'll have to have her come back here so she can see it not being a messy. All right. uh, I have used Joyco stylers now for I would say five years consistently in my own hair, in my client's hair, and people love it. It smells so amazing. You can definitely buy it from your local hair stylist if they're a Joyco person. You can also go to Ulta and get all of our products, and we also sell through Amazon. I think a lot of people weren't thrilled that we sell through Amazon, but I think it can be very convenient for somebody who may not be able to get to the salon as easily. So. And then for hair stylists, if you're watching and you would like to purchase our products, we do sell at Cosmoprof. We just recently started selling at Salon Centric. So if you have Salon Centric in your area, they should be getting our full color line, our full styler line. And there we go. Okay, here's our cute little bell head. She looks like a granny. Remember, we didn't put any pin curls down here because we didn't want too much volume in this underneath part. And then before she goes, I'm going to use our Beach Shake, which smells like you're going to the beach. It literally smells like copper tone. It's one of my favorite smells. We're going to shake it together. We're going to give, I'm going to say, two two levels of like hold. It has a, a wax finish, so it gives separation, but a lot of volume. So I'm just gonna spray that all over this girly. You know, if she was a real person, you wouldn't spray in the face with it, right? But whatever. So, and then we're gonna let her cool down. So I would say at least 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you want these to cool down, because if you take them out right away, you're just gonna get a very small bevel in the hair instead of being that nice big blowout look that we're looking for. So we're gonna set her to the side, BRB on Miss Rainbow Head. All right, now we're going to detangle and style my cutie doll head from my live that I did on Joyco's Instagram. Again, check that out. Ooh, that was a little weird. Um, check that out on their live after we hop off of this one. It was a couple of months ago, so you might have to scroll down. You'll see the main picture is like a piece of paper with a bunch of different splotches of color on it. So I washed her before we got here because it was gonna be weird to set her up and uh, over there to show you how I shampoo her hair. Shampooing is shampooing, we know that, right? So, shampoo her with our Joyful uh, Shampoo and Conditioner, which is again, rice proteins. It's gonna give you a lot of protection, a lot of uh, volume. It also has lotus flower and bamboo extract in it. We're gonna start by using our Luster Lock Spray to Detangle. This is an award-winning, like leave-in, all-around magic product. I joke that I would eat it if I could, I won't, don't eat it. Uh, but it smells really great and to start you see that it's separated I just like to shake it together so it's all nice and mixed together but this is going to give you nine times stronger hair I um, two times the shine it will detangle it's a UVA UVB protectant um, but also you said it's like a cutting lotion so if I'm going to do a really intricate haircut I love to spray it in there as I'm cutting to keep the hair moisturized and you cannot overuse this product I can dump this whole thing on here and blow dryer and you wouldn't even know that I use this in there that's why I love cocktailing all the Joyco's products together 
sales, they go together, but they also, you can't really overuse it. Maybe a handful of things like an oil, you might be over to, overusing it. But today in blow drying, I'm gonna show you how I cocktail Dream Blowout with our Blonde Life oil. And I do that in every single person's hair, from my mom's hair, who has very fine textured hair, to my own hair, it's got big, thick hair. So I'm gonna shake this together. Someone asked what temperature your Marcel was at. My temperature, that's a great question. It is turned up to all the way, 430. But if you are a new stylist or if you are a consumer, please do not turn your curling iron up to that high because I'm way quicker, way faster with it. And all I have to do is like maybe one to two passes. So if you're gonna start, I'd say start at 350 the most. Marcel curling irons are known to get a little bit hotter and sometimes people forget and they don't have that top thing where you go to grab it and you will burn your fingers. Have I burned myself? Absolutely, I have. So be careful. But this is the original curling iron, you guys. Back in the day when they didn't have a cord, they would have the Marcel's, which maybe I'll take that off the wall and show you some of my Marcel curling irons. Uh, they would put them in the fireplace uh, or they would put them in like little ovens, stove top sometimes, and curl the hair with it. So it can be very hot, very aggressive, but um, is the original curling iron. So keep it low. Do two passes if you have to. So I'm gonna spray this in the hair. Her hand is really up high because there's a chat here, so I wanna be doing this this high if she was in the chair. And again, you can't overuse this product, so I'm just gonna spray a whole bunch in here. She has bleach times like three in here, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to maybe detangle. But this is an instant detangler, so let's see how instant it actually is. I'm gonna use a paddle brush. Of course, we're gonna just do a cute little matching set, right? If we have the ability to do matching, why not? I'm just going to grab some of this underneath part and please don't just start doing this. That is so sad and it hurts so bad. So start at the ends, work your way up, start at the underneath part. That seems pretty instant to me, right? For how tangly this girl looks and how much bleach she's got in this hair. God, I feel like this, she's so tall. I feel like I'm doing someone's hair standing up right now. But Starting at the ends, coming down. Again, you're gonna get nine times stronger hair just from the first use of our Luster Lock spray. And I always say award-winning because it is. It wins awards every single year for being one of the best leave-in products of like the Stylist Choice Awards and things like that, so. It smells good. It doesn't even smell so good, right? I wish there was something that you could use, you know. I know people are, are like an AI. Why can't they come up with a thing that you can smell? in real life or something like that. Else. What they used to call it, smell of vision you know? If you can smell these products, people, they're amazing. But I'm sure if you're watching now, you probably have used or wanted to try some of the Joyco products. So I hope that I'm encouraging you to uh, get out there and grab some of these products yourself. So, and I'm using this doll head stand from Amazon and man, it is great. She does not come off of here. If you are used to using a lot of doll heads, you know that Sometimes the doll head goes flying when you're blow drying it. So actually when I was in cosmetology school and we were learning the wet set, remember the wet set from years and years and years ago, my friend Carissa, she was doing the wet set, the uh, state board set and she could not get the finger wave down and it, it ended up flying off the doll head stand and I think she took it and like drop kicked it off the roof because we were so tired of it not actually, uh, you know, doing what it needs to be doing. So, all right. We are combed out. I'm gonna lower her because this is way too high for me. Okay. I'm gonna show you how I cocktail our Dream Blowout and our Brilliant Glow uh, Blonde Life uh, Oil. So both of these are two of my favorite products and I use these in like, I wanna say 99% of the clients that sit in my chair. I either use Dream Blowout or I use Youth Lock. Uh, blow dry cream, which is somewhere over there, I don't know. Um, this is gonna give you 450 degree protection. It's also gonna help your frizz time. It's gonna help with your blow dry time. It's gonna cut it in half. And using a more power blow dryer like the Olivia Garden um, high power blow dryer that just came out will make your blow dryers be even quicker. But again, for today, I'm gonna use the original blow dryer so it's not so high pitched and it's not gonna blow your cute little eardrums out. So when I'm putting in product, I think a lot of people say like, most clients hear this, I'm sorry, most hairstylists hear this from the clients that I can never do my hair the way you do it at home. I can never blow dry my hair the way you blow dry it at home. It's a couple of reasons. One, we're not scared to overuse a product. Maybe a client might be scared to overuse it. They don't want to have to rewash. Maybe the product is maybe a little expensive and they're you know trying to hang on to it a little bit more, but showing 
people how to properly use the products and properly blow dry their hair will make them want to get more products and more time spent behind uh, the mirror at home. So I always split the hair in half or in thirds, depending on how much hair you have. I have a lot of hair. I am mixed Asian and white and I have really thick, really coarse hair and I wear curly most of the time. I can tuck behind my ears right now, but I split my hair in thirds actually. So spending it in half, making sure that we can fully saturate the hair. Because a lot of times when people put the product on the hair, they just put it right here. And it's right on the top. And yeah, that might be a little too greasy. So we want to really want to work it in our ends and work our way up to the base and not put things on the base that don't belong on the base, like a cream product, right? So I'm going to use our blowout cream. Let's see if we can get this on here. One, two pumps of that. And like a half a pump, maybe a pump, depending on how much hair that this person has. Um, the Blonde Life Brilliant Glow Oil will give you a ton of shine and it's not going to weigh your hair down. It's meant for blonde hair, so that's why it's clear in color. Look at that cute little hologram. Um, but it's not going to weigh your hair down and it's a perfect mixer. I can use this with almost any other cream product. And I'm just going to mix that in my hand a little bit. Emulsify it. Then we're going to start on our ends and we're just going to work our way up. Start on our ends and working our way up. And then before I move to the next section, I am going to comb it through. So making sure that the hair is fully saturated will be a life changer for your at-home blow dries. Because a lot of times if we're just putting it right on the top, it's not going to give you enough of the styling properties. So put that in there. Take your towel brush or your comb and just comb it through real quick. And then I'm going to drop down the next section. Again, two pumps of our Dream Blowout. Half a pump or pump of our Brilliant Glow Lawn Life. I'm also dyeing it together and working our way through the ends. So I am in my salon suite, so if you do hear anybody else talking, I apologize. I am in a 33 salon suite in Phoenix in Diamond Bar, so I might have a little bit of people passing by, but now we're just gonna mix it through there, making sure we are getting the ends of even the top front, but I'm not really putting it on the base of your hair. So let's move some of these out of the way. And then next, I'm going to show you how I use my hair shake again. This is going to give you um, four uh, levels of hold. So I will split it probably in a mohawk section. We don't need a lot of volume in this area. We want to just have it more at this space. So shake it up. Make sure you can hear that little ball inside. Let me wipe my hand off. It's a little, a little slippy. So hopefully this person is not taking a phone call right outside my salon door. I was thinking about it. Okay, tell me you guys if this, you think this is rude. <laughs> if I put a sign on my salon suite saying, Shh, we're filming in here, do you think that's rude? Tell me, tell me. I haven't done it yet, but I considered it because it's live and I don't want you guys to be here on your Wednesday hanging out with me, hearing somebody else, their phone call. So if that's rude, you tell me. If it's not, I'm doing it next time. So I'm going to spray this right at the base. This is our hair shake. This is a wet to powder finish, but it dries instantly. It's going to give you tons of grip. Maybe we're going to get detangled up here. Uh, <laughs> it's going to give you tons of grip. And I love spraying it right at the base. But if there's girls that have really fine textured hair and as you're blow drying their hair, the hair slips out of the brush, this is going to help make that a little bit more grippy, a little bit more textured. Uh, and it helps kind of swell up the hair a little bit. So it gives you tons and tons and tons of volume. I don't often use it in my base uh, because when I blow dry my hair like this, I like to have my hair last for like a week and a half. I am one of those girls that doesn't blow dry very often, so I wouldn't necessarily spray this in my base. But if I'm going to have a teased look, I will absolutely spray that in there. So I'm going to lower it down again. Ooh. Can you hear it, do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to be mean. So <laughs> I don't want to go out there and say, please be quiet, but I won't. We won't do that. You want me to go, Charlie? No, it's okay. <laughs> We all have to exist here together, right? So uh, I'm gonna start blow drying. Um, and when I'm blow drying, I'm gonna blow dry with a purpose. That was something that an old mentor told me years ago. When we're rough drying, we're not just gonna be blow drying all crazy all over the place like that. Yes, we're gonna use our hands. We're gonna do a little bit of shaking, but I'm not gonna just try to make the hair as frizzy as possible. We're gonna grab the hair, we're gonna lift in the base areas, and we're gonna use our hand, which helps get like most of the moisture out. It's actually not the blow dryer, it's your hand. So using your hand and then um, rough drying till about 80% and then using the round brush in between. So I'm going to use the blow drying on a lower setting so we're not blowing your little eardrums out. <clears throat> Please comment if it's too loud. I hope it's not going to be too loud but <clears throat> I usually use, I'm going to talk really loud I guess, um, 
I would say a higher heat, but I also use a lower t or a, a less speed, I guess you could say. Um, but not when I'm rough drying. In rough drying, I'll have it at the highest temperature or the highest speed because I want to make it quick and fast. But you can see I'm using my hand to lift and pull the hair out and away. Out and away. Even underneath here, I'm kind of going in underneath, lifting out and away. Is it too loud? Somebody commented but saying it's too loud. Can you hear me talking? Let me know. So I'm just going to keep rough drying. This girl's got a lot of bleach in her hair, so hopefully it uh, dries smooth. And I think it's a challenge. If you can dry a doll head and make it look shiny and pretty and smooth, you use a good blow dryer. Because even on a brand new doll head, it's not easy. So even with the bangs, I'm going up and away, up and back. <clears throat> We're getting that blowout look that, you know, it's, it's super in right now. Everyone wants to have big, beautiful blow dry. People are sleeping in with the, you know, the, the overnight curls and things like that. That reminds me of back in the day when I was in high school and I would put my hair in sponge rollers and then sleep. And have I wanted to do that? Yes, maybe I should. That should be a video. I have a picture of me with uh, a bunch of sponge rollers in my hair. And, uh, and we can recreate that picture. So again, I'm blow drying. We're going to thermal set our girl with Delco rollers. So I get my Delco rollers from Pablo Prof, but I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. And then you're going to need roller clips or pin curl clips, whatever is easiest for you. Someone said they can hear you. They can hear me? Okay, thank you. I have been told that I'm pretty loud. So no one's ever told me I'm pretty quiet. If anything, that I'm too loud. I've been told that. We're just rough drying, rough drying. And if this is a client watching, if you're a consumer watching, you can do all the same steps. Obviously, when your hands are below your head, it's going to be a little bit different of results. And that's why you say, why does my blow dryer never look the same at home? So definitely having my hands above the client's head makes it a lot easier. Um, using better tools, better products will also make your blood drives quicker and more efficient. Uh, I love Olivia Garden for that particular reason. They have amazing blow dryers, and you're not even on the screen anymore. Um, amazing blow dryers. So again, everything up, holding up and away, up and away. You also want to make it comfortable for your client, right? You don't want their hair in their face and they're doing <laughs> as they're blow drying because then they're moving too much. So away and making sure that they're comfortable with the temperature. It's always a nice little, little extra gesture. So I'm getting out at least 80% of the moisture. We have 15 minutes left. Okay. 80% of the moisture out, and then I'm going to use my round brush in a smaller size to show you how I give that nice big blow dry look and then set it with Velcro rollers. If you're just hopping on right now, we're almost finished with our blow dry and thermal styling. I also blow dry my hair uh, in a video that I'll be posting after we're done today, how I did the thermal, um, for the blow dry set on myself with my Velcro rollers. I also, if you're on TikTok, please go and follow me over there. I have a bunch of videos um, it's under my fave products. It's a collection. You'll see tons of videos of me using Joyco products, Olivia Garden products, uh, and how to use them a little bit better. But please follow me on Instagram, and if you have any styling questions, hair product questions, throughout the rest of your life, you can message me. I think product knowledge is one of my favorite subjects. Um, and I love learning about them. Even though I was telling Brie when she got here that I learned even more about the styling products that I didn't even know. So. Learning about them makes it easier to obviously sell them. And when you sell products, it's not just like you're trying to upsell your client, right? You're trying to prescribe your client something. You're trying to make sure that their hair color lasts 100% when they get home. And they're going to walk around going, Katie did my hair. Let's hope that Katie did my hair and it looks good eight weeks from now, right? Sometimes it's nice to get a compliment of people going, I wish I could just take you home with me and blow dry my hair every day. I'm sure most hair stylists hear that. And I've also been told, because um, I do not work with an assistant, I work in my lonesome here in the salon suite, um, and people will go, well, who does your blow dries? And I do. I love blow drying hair. Blow drying hair is one of my favorite things, especially if you have um, like medium to fine texture and it's curly. I love smoothing that out. It's like a challenge. So there's a couple of my clients and I tell them every single time I blow dry their hair. And I'm like, you know what I'm going to say? They say, you're going to say you love my hair and you love to blow dry it. Yes, I do. So. Blow drying hair is one of my favorite things. And it's a really great way to double check your hair color, right? After you finish your um, your color and you go to blow dry and they go, I'm just gonna go home and take a nap. You don't need to blow dry my hair. 
Oh, this is definitely a way to insurance that no one's going to leave here and go, oh, I don't like that one piece, or I don't like that, or I don't like this, so. Someone asked if you can repeat your Instagram handle for them course. to follow you. My Instagram is Katie Alm with two E's, K-A-T-I-E, another E, A-L-M. And then on TikTok, it's the same, but with one E. Don't know why. I should have made them both the same, but, you know, here we are. So please follow me. And of course, if you don't follow George Hill already, absolutely follow them. When we say rough dry, we mean it rough. She looks rough. But we're going to show you how I go from this into a really beautiful style. Oopsies. So yes, please follow me on there. Please follow me on TikTok. I love making hair styling videos. Part of what I do for Joyco is they call it prosumer. So I do a lot of pro videos, but I also do a lot of consumer videos. Now I'm going to set my hair in the same pattern because I'm a work smarter, not harder kind of a girly. Um, we're going to do a mohawk section and then like inch by inch sections. Mm. Yes, if you don't follow Droiko on TikTok, please do. We have tons of fun videos over there. I'm going to get this guy up right here. We have our one mohawk section. For our blow dryer, I do a little bit different. I section out the front. I'll be a little bit more clean with this one. This will be two sections, and then the back will be three sections. This girl's got a little bit longer hair than our last girl, so this is why I did a thermal set on the other girl and a um, wet set over here. I guess not wet set, but you know, a blow dry set over here. Having a little bit longer hair is easier to work with than having that short bob. It's not always the easiest to do that big blowout without looking like granny like 60s, you know? So then I'm going to take three sections up here, probably by inch-ish. Section all this guy out. And then I prepped her with Joyful Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I also use our Luster Lock Spray and then cocktailed our um, Blonde Life Brilliant Glow Oil and our Dream Blowout together. So there is our second section. People often ask me, how do you do anything though with those nails? And you know what? They're like little mini picks. Look at Look how easy that was to section somebody's hair. How do you do anything? I do everything. Besides have a clip that I need. Ta! -ha! Just kidding. We'll use this one. So we're gonna clip that out of the way. And I'm gonna blow dry and everything 45 degrees off of the hair. And after we're done blow drying each little section, I'm going to take a Velcro roller and set them. So actually I lied, I'm gonna start <laughs> at the top instead of the bottom. It might be easier. So, go the opposite way, that was my bad. I do it the opposite on my Instagram uh, video that I'll be posting of myself a little bit later today, where I start on the underneath part. And that's why I didn't wanna do it on camera because it is a little, uh, little, little funny. You'll see me make some funny faces because and sometimes hurts my arms. So that's why I like to show a thermal set as well because sometimes blow drying your own hair or other clients' hair might not be sustainable for everybody. I've been doing this job for 11 years and my hands definitely are hurting more than they used to. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna brush this little girl out, this little section out. This is a pretty large section. You can use our regular brush, which definitely would fit right there. Or you can use Olivia Garden's XL speed brushes for even longer hair, which is very fun as well. So, but today I'm gonna use a cute little matching set. And again, I'm using our original blow dryer, so it's not too high fish to the sound. I split this section in half. I'm gonna hold everything out 45 degrees. And I'm gonna really set in that base before I even touch those ends. I'm gonna go all different directions. This is why I love this base too, uh, this doll head stand. I can put my foot on it and it stays. Uh, going away, towards the face, above. And if I was doing this not on camera, I would be standing directly in front of it like this. But since I can't do that and I don't wanna block what I'm doing, I'm gonna not be ergonomically correct right now. How did I remember ergonomic correct, but I couldn't remember eagle? That doesn't make any sense to me, clearly. But, so now I'm gonna start working on the middle area after I set in our base. Just smoothing out. Notice that I'm not really putting 
the uh, blow dryer tip exactly on the hair. We do not want that to happen. So, moving, I use the underneath part of my blow dryer or I use this part of my hand. And as I get to the ends, I'm going to start spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and all of the above. This is at a high heat but a low speed. I do not want it too high of a speed right now because that's how you get extra little frizzies. Spinning, spinning, spinning. I'm going to let it sit for a second. I don't have these on my tray over here because they were getting stuck to my disposable frame bar towel. But I'm going to take this guy out. Start in the middle with my Velcro roller. And I'm just going to gently, please gentle, don't smush it into there, put it in her hair. And then I'm with my little clip, bobby pin, whatever you have at home. These are meant for these kind of rollers. I'm gonna clip that guy right in there. And I'm gonna move on to the second section. You can see how smooth and shiny that all is. We're gonna do one more section right here, combing through. If you start blow drying and there's tangles in the hair, it will set that tangle into the hair. So I wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. And that's why we were rough drying with the perfects earlier. So, we have eight more minutes until we are done. I really like you guys. I said we we're going to finish both of these in this hour. I lied. I'm very sorry. But I'm going to finish this one section, and then we're going to bring out the other little girly so we can show you how I'm going to finish up that other thermal set. And go to my Instagram after this, and I'll send a post a picture of both of these beautiful styles, and also that video I was talking about earlier. Right now I'm sitting in that bank, going forwards, backwards, under, above, sitting in that, away from the hair, on base. And I'm going to work on the middle a little, a little bit in the shaft, smoothing those guys out, and I'm working on these ends. Rolling back and forth. Really setting in that bevel. Bevel is such a funny word, huh? We will do one more and then we're going to move back to our thermal set so I can show you how I finish off a thermal set. Taking this big section gently, please. Because if you pull them out, if you've had these in your hair before and you rip them out, you know how bad that hurts. Actually, I actually have a funny video of me taking them out as a joke because it does, it hurts. Okay, so we're going to set the whole entire head like this. I will take a picture of what she looks like all set before, uh, but let me switch her back out for our thermal set. So we gave Miss Rambo Head plenty of time to cool down. Let me raise her up a little bit. I'm gonna take those pin curl clips out. As I'm taking them out, I always kind of open and close, open and close because you don't know what hair is stuck to it and you don't want to pull anybody's hair out. Open, close, open, close. A couple people asked for the handle. I commented it in this Beautiful. Section. Thank you. Open and close. I'm going to get all of these curl clips out of here. And then, of course, you want to sanitize them curl clips in between, right? So put them in some barbicide for a little bit. <laughs> Someone said, I'm going to hear you when I blow dry now. Forward, backwards, under, above. Oh, my God. Please do. <laughs> Should I make a shirt that says that? Yes. <laughs> One shirt just for you? Oh, we're back above. Did I get all that? Okay. <laughs> I got them all out. Okay, so then I'm going to take some oil in my hands, about a pump, emulsify, and we're going to start the ends, and we're just going to break these little curlies up. Break them up, break them up, break them up. Put her forward. This is tons and tons of volume. Oh, smoothing all these little ends out. Let me lower down again, and I'm going to spray um our beach shake on the ends but again we're going to take it up so we can hear that ball inside it's going to give you a separation it's going to give you a hold and it also has a little bit of a wax finish and it smells like the beach so spray that in there and before i finish it i'm going to spray rise up this is my favorite product i think of joyco and it's so tiny but super mighty it is a powder i'm going to spray it right here i don't know if you can see um, it's so light, it kind of flows up. I'm going to spray it at the base a little bit. This gives grip, texture. You can even spray it on the ends a little bit. Um, 
grip and texture. This is perfect for um, teasing, especially when I talked about you could use this hair shake for teasing. The hair shake, this is liquid, this is a powder, this does turn to a powder. This is better for blow dries, this is better for regular thermal styling. But it does the same, similar thing. So I'm gonna take my hands and just kind of break this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna split it, I'm gonna do a little bit of back combing, a little teasing to set that hair into place. You can see how much volume that curls gave just from setting it in the right way. Here's our Olivia Garden. Yeah, four minutes. Here's my Olivia Garden um, teasing brush. Just do a little back combing. And setting this pretty hair. So this hair should last you up to 24 hours. And uh, if you're one of my clients, you'll hear me say, sleep pretty. <laughs> Sleeping pretty means you are sleeping like this and you're not moving and you're not falling on your head and you're not going to be running around and sweating or anything. So that way we can maintain this style for longer. Also helps that is a silk pillowcase or a silk bonnet, depending on what kind of hair texture you have. Um, and then putting in braids, putting your hair in braids before you go to sleep. One will make you have a style uh, easier in the morning, but two, it's a protective style. So it's gonna make sure that your hair is looking pretty and shiny in the morning. So I tease everything back. Look at that. If that's not some 80s freaking hair I've ever seen. I'm gonna give her a little side part. And tame this down a little bit. We're gonna get that nice blow dry look without having to actually spend too much time blow drying. So, all right, here's a cute little rainbow girly. Very 1960s feels. You can kind of take your fingers and just kind of break it up a little bit. That might be a little bit too curly in that front area, huh? But I'm going to show you how fun that looks back here. All this volume. All of this girly is so pretty with her fun color. So again, this is all Droico color intensity. Look at that volume. I know I back combed a little bit, but that is so much volume. Like having that little underneath piece. It kind of looks like that jellyfish cut that's super in right now. So... And we're about to be running out of time. So anyone has any last minute questions about any of our fun hairstyling today?